All right, guys, we are joining. We're joining Forex right now as he talks about the launch of the piggy bank. Let's go live. And you get, let's just say, a 10% bonus to make the match. The way that the bonus is implemented is through making it available for you to compound. And what I mean by that is say you time lock for a week, you get a 10% bonus on that, and you stake 100 tokens. What this means is you will get 10 tokens as a bonus and these 10 tokens will be made available to you to compound as your stake ages and it is done using an exponential um distribution curve that is the same curve that options contracts use for theta time decay but it's an inverse so instead of decaying the value it's putting a multiplier on the value. And this is how we're using a distribution curve that has been proven to be highly effective in traditional markets for decades, you know, centuries actually. Um, and we're taking all those uh, centuries of built up knowledge base and we're putting it to work in our innovative new protocol. Because I always like to go to, um, mechanics that we know work right we know these mechanics work they've been proven to work in traditional markets for a very long time but i then like to implement them in ways that only DeFi allows for and that's what we're doing here so and it, and it, it the um the amazing um options that DeFi give us make these um these mechanics so much more powerful so to um, continue with how this bonus is implemented on your state. The way that the distribution curve works it me is 30% of this bonus is applied in the first 75% of your stake. And the last 25% of your stake, the other 70% of the bonus is applied. So what this means is if you staked for um, if you stake for 10 days, right. And you get a 10% bonus for staking for 10 days for time locking for 10 days. And you time lock 10 tokens, right? I'm just making the math very easy by just doing 10, 10, 10. Then you would have three tokens available to compound by the time you've reached seven days in your stake, but it's not made available at one time. So what that means is on day one, you would have say, uh, 0.2 tokens made available for you to compound into your principal. Now on day two, you might have 0.6 tokens from your bonus available to compound into your principal on day three you might have two tokens that are made available to compound into your principal from your bonus uh day four you might have three tokens that are made and up like that uh every day having a percentage of your bonus made available for you to compound into your principal so by the time you have finished your stake, you have earned compound interest on that bonus throughout the whole life of your stake. And what this does is allows people to put the power in their own hands of how powerful they want the time stake to be. And it allows for say a 10% bonus for time locking for a week to result in exponentially higher uh, token payout. So say you stake for, um, say you time stake for 10 days and you time stake 100 tokens and you get a 10% bonus for doing this, right? That's 10 extra tokens 
that will be made available to you to compound into your principal over the life of the stake. So if you are compounding that daily and earning a uh, 3% ROI on that bonus throughout the whole life of your stake while you're compounding it, that 10 token bonus ends up being a, you know, 70% bonus and a 70 token payout. So, you know, you, it, it ends up being, um, you know, for a hundred token stake for time locking it for a week, uh, you end up with say 700 more tokens or, you know, 70 more tokens, whatever it is. My point is the bonus is, is extremely high if you're compounding it daily because the bonus is applied to your interest allowing you to then compound it into your principal and earn a 3% daily ROI on that bonus every day as it's applied to your principal and then take the interest that you're earning which was then compounded and then recompound it with the next day's bonus so every day a percentage of your bonus is made available for you to compound and you can compound your interest once a day. The reason why we're limiting it, limiting it once a day is to prevent confusion. Um, I just know it will be a easier user experience and a more friendly user experience if we limit compounding to once a day, because you will only be able to compound your bonus once a day. And I don't want there to be a confusion where people are uh, compounding and not sure, am I compounding my bonus? Am I compounding just my, my principal? Can I compound my bonus but not compound my interest? Uh, I don't want to uh, add confusion there. So to make it simple, your bonus is added to your available divs once a day and when it is, it's then available for you to compound into your principal. Now you're earning up to 3% interest on what you've just compounded plus your principal plus the bonus that was added that day. Now throughout the whole course of the next day, you're earning interest on that new principal. And then when it comes time the next day for your bonus to be added in, you then get your your bonus for that day based on how long you time stick added to your available divs. And now you're able to compound it and now compound that bonus plus your interest into your principal. And now for the whole next day, now you're earning 3% interest on it. And it allows you to see uh, a massive exponential uh, or a massive, um, you know, exponential growth potential for your bonus because you can compound it every day and earn interest on it every day. And, you know, the way that will display the bonus on the front end is um, it will be labeled estimated compound bonus percentage. The reason why we're labeling it that is because it will be based on the bonus that you get for time locking, earning 3% interest a day, compounded once per day. And then that will give you a value um, that this value in the form of a percentage that shows you how large your bonus will be if you take optimal advantage of it. So it's going to not only be extremely attractive and extremely um, powerful, it's going to appear very attractive for people as well. Because when they go to time stake, they're going to choose how long do I want to time stake for? One week, one month, three months, six months, one year, five years. And when they do it, it's going to give them an estimated compound bonus percentage that is based on if they time lock for this period of time and compound that bonus once daily. So uh, it's 
is going to clearly display the true power of the system, which is, you know, uh, undeniably attractive to anybody that's going to be, uh, you know, checking out the system and involved in the system. So because of this, I expect the vast majority of users to be time staking. Now, the way that it works is to get a little more into detail. And I'm, when the contracts are made available, they will be these uh, pieces of the contract will be added to the white paper, meaning these mechanics that I'm explaining. We will take the piece of code that handles that uh, mechanic in the system, add it to the white paper, and then explain how it works in the white paper. This way, it's all broken down into great detail. But I'm hesitant to just throw all of this information at once, which is the reason why we did a kind of pitch deck type of white paper uh, for the first version, because I didn't want people to get lost in the sauce and you know be overwhelmed with detail and not get the basic understanding of how the, how the contract works and how it can uh, benefit them. But as we create new versions of the white paper, it will continue to evolve with more information. But of course, the contracts will be made available, um, you know, shortly after launch. So we'll launch them, we'll verify them, we'll make them public. Um, but the way that the, uh, to get into a little more detail about how the time bonus multiplier works is when you initially buy, you deposit into the contract, it buys truffles for you. These truffles are then fed to pigs, which allow you to, uh, to earn your pigs, right? And, uh, or essentially another way of saying it is these truffles are immediately compounded when you deposit. So now you have pigs, right? Cause when you compound truffle, you're spending those truffles for pigs. And if you time lock, it's putting a bonus on it. So say you time lock for 10 days, you get a 10% bonus for time locking for 10 days. What it does is when you do the initial deposit, it will buy however much you deposited worth of truffles plus 10% extra truffles. Those 10% extra truffles are now added to your available divs every day, allowing you to compound them back into your principal and earn compound interest on them throughout the life of the contract. The reason why we're buying them as, as soon as you create the stake and putting them uh, on the side, essentially to be added to your, um, to, to allow you to add them to your principal uh, through daily compounding is so they're immediately taken into account in the exchange rate of the truffles, right? Because the price of truffles is what determines what you will get when you cash out. So we need to add in this exchange rate or we need to account for these extra truffles which are being given to you for the bonus right from the start. This way, the exchange rate is accurate for everybody. And there isn't, you know, floating truffles out there that haven't been accounted in the exchange rate. So um, because of all of these different, um, you know, math, math, um, I don't want to call them problems, but uh, these different uh, mechanics that we needed to come up with solutions for. Uh, this hasn't been done before, right? There's never been a protocol that allows you to time lock a stake in a system and have the stake be made available for you to compound and the bonus that you get for time locking be made available for you to compound over the life of your stake. There's never been a project like that before. There's also never been a project that pays you out a bonus on a stake for time locking that doesn't create this bonus through inflation. 
right? If you look at other protocols, like I don't want to start naming them out, but there's plenty of other protocols out there where you can time lock a stake for a period of time and you get a bonus for doing that. They're exponentially, and when I say the word exponentially, I mean it literally. They're exponentially less powerful than our protocol because the way that they implement this bonus is by minting those tokens and just tacking them on at the end. So for example, say you're in a project where you you get a 40% bonus if you time lock your stake for a year. And these other protocols, while this, um, while this stake is time locked, you can't compound any dips earned on it. You can't deposit into it. And this bonus is just added at the end. So you time lock for a year, you may get a 40% or 20% bonus for time locking for the, the whole year. And that's just 20% or 40% of your principal, of your starting principal. That is not attractive to me. And that's why these other projects that have this kind of systems implemented are not that attractive to people because if you have to time lock for a whole year and you're only making a 40% on your initial starting principle to lock it up for a whole year in DeFi, I mean, you could almost get returns like that staking in like the S&P 500 if you compound it, right? So the risk reward ratio just isn't there for these protocols. And it's paying you the bonus to inflation which means it's diluting the value of the token that you've been staked for a whole year just to give you a little 20, 40% of your starting principal. In our case, the, the bonus is not coming through inflation. The bonus is being um, created through a multiplier on your initial buying power when you enter the system and then that bonus is put aside for you and every day being added to your available divs. And when I say available divs, I mean divs that are available to compound, not to harvest, of course, because you can't harvest until your time lock is over, but you can compound it, which means that that 10% bonus or that 20% or 40% bonus isn't just a 20% or 40% bonus of your principal that is, you know, minted at the end of your stake and given to you, like big whoop. No, it's a percentage of your principal that is added to your available divs to compound every day, allowing you to compound it and earn interest on it throughout the whole life of your stake, which is so much more powerful. And now, because we're doing it that way, that means that you can't deposit into an existing stake, right? So the way that we're handling that is by something that's way more optimal than being able to deposit into existing stakes anyways. And that is through allowing you to create multiple stakes from the same wallet. And this is extremely bullish because it allows you to set up strategies for different unlock periods and different um, management systems that will allow us to create all kinds of cool an analytic tools, right? People will be able to create analytic tools to see when uh, groupings of different people's end stakes are coming. Like all the analytic tools that you know and love from some other projects, but being implemented in so much more of a powerful way and a truly innovative way in a way that's never been done before. So when you have an existing stake, you can compound the divs that you're earning on, on it and the bonus that you're earning on it for time locking. You can't deposit into it because um, that wouldn't really make any sense because um, you would have to either reset the time lock and we don't want it so every time someone compounds or every time someone deposits has to reset their time lock. Like, that wouldn't be good. So, one second. Looks like he's got a friend like me. 
So guys, try to gear up some questions, guys. If you got questions for uh, Forex, make sure you guys try to. Um, gear that is up the voice questions. of Barter Town. Could, He's on the marketing add, team. You can add me in the animal chat, or you can add me in the uh, on YouTube, etc., to ask some questions. If you guys have any questions to ask, I know he's gonna open up for Q and A. That'll be bullish. That yeah. Would, that would be uh, bullish. Sorry, I got family over and my dog's going crazy because my family's over and stuff. But yeah, so. So in order to not have to reset people's stake every time they, uh, they do a deposit or a compound, uh, we handled it. So uh, when you compound, of course, you don't have to create a new stake or you don't have to reset your, your, your time lock either. And if you want to deposit, you could just deposit by starting a new stake. And this creates so many different options to allow people to set up strategies for uh, different time lock periods. You know, say you want to go on a vacation at some point, you know, you, you have a planned vacation at some point. You could end a stake, you know, uh, the week of that vacation so you know you have those funds available for that vacation. There's all kinds of cool things you can do to uh, diversify your, um, your stake structured, structured profile in the system. And... It's, um, it's, you know, basically every mechanic that we have implemented in the piggy bank is based on mechanics that we know work very well, but done in an innovative way that has never been done before. So I believe that if we launch the piggy bank as a standalone project with its own token, for example, we just create a token, which we're not interested in doing, but we create a token and then uh, that token can be uh, utilized in the piggy bank. We launch it as a, a unique individual project. I know it would be extremely po uh, popular and it would blow up. It'd be a huge project. But the fact that we're integrating it into the animal farm, into an existing system that uh, has multiple positive feedback loops, it's that much more powerful. So, for example, the bonus that you earn for referring is dependent on the amount of dogs that you have staked in the animal farm single staking asset pool. And this is very similar to the protocol we used with Drip and BREAP. And you saw what happened there, right? Uh, B Reap had a major pump, right? Doing very well. And then um, had a correction, right? Which is normal. You you know, whenever you have a major hype pump, it's typically followed by some kind of correction. And then we were flat for a little while until we implemented it into the referral structure of Drip. And from literally the day we implemented it into the referral structure of, of Drip, we never touched those lows again. And in fact, we ended up doing like 400 X or something crazy, right? We went from like $2 to, uh, whatever, $300 or whatever, whatever it is. So it just, uh, you know, blew up like crazy because we gave additional use case and, and an additional reward structure, incentivizing people to buy the token and remove it from circulation. And it, it's, uh, it's hitting both sides of the, uh, the, the pricing formula, right? It's adding additional demand and use cases, uh, for the asset while it's incentivizing people from removing it from circulation, essentially restricting the supply. When you restrict the, restrict the supply of an asset while creating additional demand for it, that's how you create price appreciation. And. We're using that same model that has proven to be so successful uh, in Drip with BREAP. So successful even that when Drip has corrections, oftentimes BREAP doesn't even have the corrections. It just keeps pumping. The reason for this is because um, BREAP, I mean, Drip is paying out the daily ROI and people want to base some speculation around that. But they know at the end of the day, they always want to be making their referral bonuses. So sometimes when they might decide, oh, I want to take a little profit off the top of my drip, 
they don't want to sell their BREAP because that means they're going to be missing referral bonuses. And they know they don't want to do that. So for that very reason, we'll see less volatility in dogs, more incentive to buy dogs, and more dogs being removed from circulation, and very little incentive to sell dogs because there's no situation where people are going to be okay with uh, selling their dogs to just, um, you know, uh, negate and, and decide to pass on essentially free money that they otherwise would be getting for having their dog stake and earning referral bonuses. So we used a, um, a Fibonacci sequence to determine the amount of dogs you need to hold. Um, the reason for doing this is because I like the way that it compounds and because we use the same sequence in B reap and drip, which worked and it's still working extremely well. So the way that, um, that lines up is you need to have two dog stake to earn a 1% bonus, 1% referral bonus um, on the deposit of people that you refer. Now, uh, with this uh, two dog stake, you can earn a 1% bonus on essentially an infinite amount of people that you're referring it's based on what they deposit so it's not uh an exploitable system it's not based on what you deposit which would incentivize people to self-refer in a bunch of tiny stakes to you know boost up a percentage earning on their own principle it's not like that it's based on what they deposit so it's um it's not leech it's not exploitable or uh able to be leached through self-referring and um if you have two dogs staked in the single asset pool, you can earn a 1% bonus on essentially an infinite amount of referrals. Now, if you have three dogs staked, you can earn a 2% bonus on referrals. If you have five dogs staked, you can earn a 3% bonus. If you have eight dogs staked, you can earn a 4% bonus. And you, if you have 13 dogs staked, you can earn a 5% bonus. And this is where it caps out. Um, because obviously we cannot, there has to be some uh, structure to it, right? You have to have some limitation to it. So the reason why we decided to uh, use those values is because it allows for the average user to be able to get a referral bonus and to be able to benefit from referrals. Now, right now, to buy and stake two dogs, it's going to cost you about $125. That is a extremely viable option for the vast majority of users in the system, right? So we know the average user in the system can benefit from referrals. And that's important because we want to have as many people able to do referrals as possible because that's how you grow. Um, now, some people have asked, well, uh, do you think it should be higher? Because they feel the higher it is, the more dogs is going to pump. And the reality of that is there is a limit to... Um, that was one of my criticisms. ...to um, that working, essentially. There's a, there's a roof there. Because you make it too high then it, it becomes infeasible for the average user to take advantage of it. And you have um, exponentially less people doing it. And that will create less of an impact on the price of dogs. So you want to have it within a range that the average user can do it, but have the high end of it just outside of what the average user can, can do. This way, they have a goal to work towards. And they can take some of those, uh, some of that profit that they're earning the system and compound it back into dogs to grow their dog's stake position to reach those higher uh, referral percentage levels. And now, as the price of dogs appreciates, the cost to get um, percentage bonuses will get higher and it will continue to rise as long as it remains attractive for um, people to pay 
whatever rate the dog's price is to get bonuses. And that's proven to be extremely high and still growing in B-Reap. We still don't know what the top is in B-Reap. We have some limited ability to adjust it. Meaning, if the price of dogs gets too high, so the average user can no longer afford to even do the base level of having two dogs staked to earn a 1% bonus, we can adjust it down to ensure that it costs, you know, no more than a few hundred dollars to be able to do at, to be able to at least be a minimal participant in the system and get 1% uh, bonuses for referrals. So this is an extreme incentive. It adds extreme incentive to both buy and stake dogs, removing them from circulation. And remember, just like with B reap, when you stake B reap, or sorry, when you hold B reap to unlock referrals and grip, you're able to earn B reap through the reflective bonuses. With dogs, when you stake dogs in a single asset pool, you're earning pigs. So it's not like you're just having that those dogs in the contract and earning the bonuses you're also earning pigs off those dogs that are staked and now you can compound those pigs into the pig pen and into the piggy bank to grow your share uh holdings of the system and compound your your um your ownership of the protocol now as this creates a price appreciation in dogs and price appreciation and pigs token because it's going to be a major uh, incentive for people to both buy pigs, hold their pigs, and add liquidity to pigs. Of course, having a huge decentralized uh, liquidity pool for pigs hardens the price and allows for price appreciation and allows for some whales to get in because now they don't have to worry about, you know, just moving the price against them too much, right? When you have a deep liquidity pool, that's when institutions and whales can really get involved. And we see that um, some of them are already starting to get involved. We just had a major exchange, a major uh, Chinese exchange pick up um, dog and pigs today that I'm sure is based on uh, the projection that they see dogs and pigs going to and also the, uh, the development that we have coming down the road that they see. Um, they're willing to invest their reputation and, um, you know, essentially put their name on the line to list the dog and pig tokens. That should say a lot, right? When a major exchange is willing to add uh, your tokens to their exchange and have your tokens plastered all over their, um, their website, all over their front page of their website, that's showing you that, you know, this multi-billion dollar corporation that has a board that has a CEO and a, and a, um, you know, CCO and a CTO and like, you know, they're a, a, a reputation to uphold and investors to protect and uh, a level of accountability being a registered corporation and, and, you know, the ability to lose their exchange license, all that. When you see those kinds of corporations, you know, putting their stamp on your project, that means something, right? And typically I'm not one that is um, big on centralized exchanges and I never go chasing centralized exchanges, but the reason why I agreed to a hotbit listing is because hotbit is very popular in Asia, specifically in China. And if you look at our user base, we are like almost 80% of our user base in the U S and the vast majority of the rest of the user base in Europe. So we've been working hard in um, outreach to Asia. We just had the piggy bank white paper translated to Mandarin and Cantonese. Um, and we're really pushing on this. But of course, being Western people and having my whole team essentially made up of people that are from Western cultures, uh, there's some barriers there to knowing how to market to the East, how to market to China, what platforms we should be 
operating with and dealing with. And we've made some good headway there. And you can see that by our analytics. But being listed on one of the major exchanges that is very popular, one of the uh, most popular exchanges in China, really helps us break through because we get to ride off the back of their promotion structure. And they're clearly already doing a great job marketing to to Asia, specifically China. So this really, um, you know, allows us to ride their wave in a sense from the, uh, from a marketing promotional standpoint and exposure, uh, to the Asian, uh, market. And this is why I agreed to, um, having our listing on Hotbit. Now Hotbit, they went and bought some tokens, uh, right off the market. We didn't even give them any tokens. Right. They were willing to do it and they were willing to fund it uh, off the back of, you know, their own capital and their own reputation. Now, of course, they have market maker fees and all that as well. So they kind of got the ball ball rolling with their own capital and um, and then are incentivizing other people to add. But understand that if they see a significant amount of back and forth volume, taking place in the dog and pig token, they will buy institutional volumes of dog and pig tokens to ensure that they are the majority market maker. So they're collecting all the, as much of the fees as possible there. Right. So when you start to see these kind of players come in, that's, that's extremely bullish, right? That's a great sign. And like I said, I'm not someone that chases centralized exchange listings. But when, when we have is getting massive exposure to a market that we're seeing very little exposure in, it's worth doing. And I believe since we have such a large TVL relative to other farms out there, you know, given our age, right, we're only a few weeks old and uh, the growth at which we're uh, accumulating TVL and with everything we have coming up and the fact that we're on BSC, I believe it's inevitable and only a matter of time before we get a Binance listing as well for dog and pig tokens. And that's one that I am interested wow. in because again, it's a trade-off between um, exposure Bi- Binance would be awesome. and decentralization. So I want it to be as decentralized as possible, having as much of the trading as possible being done on decentralized exchanges. But if, uh, you know, if an exchange like Binance reaches out and wants to do a listing, you got to take advantage of it because that gets, that gives us exposure to, you know, potentially millions of new investors. And these are the kind of, um, opportunities that we have on the horizon. Yes. You know, and we really kind of, um, we need it. We need attention to trip. This box for the first time in any of my projects at having a major listing. Well, that's fine. And um, look at this. He's doing you know, a good this job. Is something that we needed to kind of do before. And then he's going to uh, move his attention back to like you know, a, a platform like a Binance would consider us, right? They would want to see that we are being implemented successfully on other exchanges, but um because we're on bsc because of the size of our tvl because it's only a matter of time before we have billions in tvl what and, what you uh, say all of this taking place with uh binance tokens what i believe it's inevitable and only a matter of time before we get that listing on binance as well so we will be reaching out as well that's i haven't reached out to any centralized exchanges um i responded to hotbit when they responded to me um but um Binance is one that I that I am reaching out to, right? Because I do believe it's only a matter of time before we get that list. So now, um, Potter Town, do you have questions? And uh, feel free to grab questions right, from Q&A. the chat. Or if you have questions, you know, we can start going over them. All right, for sure. I have some here, some good ones. I got a really good one. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, when we started the the drip garden we initially had a period i'm not sure exactly how it went down but is there going to be an advantage for early stakers um initially once the 
uh, piggy bank goes live. So are, are we going to be able to get a better multiplier being in on the first day versus um, the days afterwards? It was completely opposite. So uh, okay. the benefit the benefit for the drip garden, uh, actually the multiplier was put on the later you stay. So the the later you got into it and the higher the contract balance was, um, the larger the multiplier you got on your buying power. So it's actually the opposite. There was um, the but the benefit for getting in early in the drip garden is the same benefit for getting in early on um on the piggy bank and that is the ability to start earning compound interest in the system from day one allowing you to outpace those who get in after you so no matter what kind of um bonus you put on uh you know a you know uh, um like for example we have the time bonus uh, drip garden where uh your buying power is increased the, the later after launch you get in and the larger the contract balance is, the larger your buy power is increased to ensure that uh, it becomes more attractive as it gets older for new capital to get on. Uh, no matter how much you do that, it's still going to be always a bigger advantage to being in early because compound interest is so, po- is so powerful. Um, and also... As the contract balance grows, remember this is an exchange. It's essentially a dex exchange, dex exchange that's internal in the contract. And as the contract balance grows, the exchange rate for truffles increases, so it becomes more expensive to buy truffles. So, by getting in early, you will get a lower truffle price. So you'll be able to get more truffles for your money. Plus, you'll be able to earn compound interest in the system, which is extremely powerful. And if you take advantage of that, you know, you can really uh, get a major head start in exponential growth. And uh, I mean, really, once you get a major head start in exponential growth, there's very little you can do. uh, There's very little someone can do to make up for that, you know, getting in later, essentially. All right. I got a, I got a good one too. Another good one. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to referrals, right? If somebody yeah. uses my link and they make a deposit, what exactly is going to happen uh, with the like? What kind? I'm going to get a stake as a referral, but what kind of duration is the stake going to be? And um, what happens like for multiple deposits? Is it for the initial deposit? Is it for every deposit? And what happens when I have somebody who's using my link that maybe has 20 stakes? How does how does that organize? Okay, so when you uh when you get a referral bonus, it's added to your principal immediately. So you refer somebody, they they do a deposit that generates a referral bonus. That referral bonus is going to be immediately added to your principal. So um so that's the way it works. And the way it's added to your principal is on your initial stake, essentially. So when you do a deposit in the system, it starts your your initial deposit, right? Time locked or not, is going to be stake one. Now, if you do an additional deposit after this, if you're not time locked, if your initial stake is not time locked, it will add that deposit to your uh, initial stake. If your initial stake is time locked, then if you go to deposit, it will start a new stake for you. Um, now, if someone, if you refer someone, that referral bonus will be added to your initial stake. And it add, gets added immediately to your principal, allowing you to you know earn compound interest on it, compound it, uh, do everything. Now, when someone use, uses your referral uh, link, there's a there's two tables, right? And this is all going to be made available tomorrow. So like I said, tomorrow, what we're going to do is um, we're going to launch the contracts. We're going to launch the front end. We're going to get everything wired up. 
Um, and then at 11 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to do all, all this tomorrow. We Tomorrow uh, morning. And we're going to start a 48-hour countdown tomorrow at, at 11 a.m. And then in the 48-hour period, people can start generating their referral links and start uh, making, you know, YouTube videos, showing the, uh, the, the dashboard, showing the front end, uh, sharing their referral link, getting everybody prepared and set up. Because when the 48-hour countdown hits zero, we're going to unpause the contract, and that's when everybody will be able to make their initial deposits. So the um, when someone uses your referral bonus, right, there's two tables. So there's the dashboard, which looks somewhat similar to the Drip Garden dashboard, except for there's some extra inputs there for, you know, time staking. Then under that dashboard, there's a table that has um, on the – X axis, different different um, variables like your balance, um, your uh, how long it's time staked for, um, you know all all these different uh, your your the ROI you're making all these different um, data points, and then on the Y axis it's zero through whatever, and it's all your stakes. Stake zero, stake one, stake two, stake three, stake four, like that. And it has all your stakes listed, right? And it, it's, it makes it very easy to do different actions on different stakes. You just click the stake that you want, and now you can compound that stake. You can deposit into that stake if it's not time locked. You can harvest from that stake. So the table just has all your different stakes listed, and... Um, different information about those stakes. Now, under that, there's a referral table. And on the referral table, it has the address of everybody who used your referral link, how much they deposited, and how much they time logged for. This way, it, it allows you to see exactly how much referral uh, bonuses you've made and how much each person that used the referral um, deposited and how long they time locked it for, making it very easy to set up reward structures. So you can, um, you know, say, for example, if you time lock uh, a stake for over a year with a deposit over $1,000 and use my referral link, I'll airdrop you a $100 stake. That's time locked for six months or time locked for three weeks or whatever reward structure you want to um, come up with that will reward people for using your referral link. And now you can easily look at the table to see everybody who used your referral link and get a bunch of stats about them. Uh, 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 yeah, a bunch of stacks about them. And now um, you, if, you, if you choose to do airdrops, you can go to the airdrop dashboard where you put in their address, the amount of tokens you want to airdrop to them, and how long you want them time locked for, and then hit hit gift, and it will gift them a time lock stake uh, for the amount of time that you want that stake to be time locked for, and the amount that you want to give them. And now that stake goes to their table. Now they can see that stake is in their table. They're earning on it. They can compound on it now. Uh, and when the stake, the time stake is over, they can harvest it, or they can decide to restake it. Whatever. Uh, what you know, it's it's up to them. Now let me just talk about one more function that I didn't get to earlier. There's also an emergency end stake. So with a time lock stake, when that time lock is over, you can continue to earn off that stake. So you can decide to time lock a stake when the stake gets done with time locking you will no longer be earning a bonus off of it, on it because you earned the bonus that was for the amount of time you time locked it for but you can still continue to earn the three percent daily roi up to three percent daily roi off that principle of the stake for the whole life of the contract until you hit max payout now if 
you decide to emerge the end state, what this means is while you're time locked, if your dividends, if your built up dividends becomes equal to or greater than your locked principal, you can emerge the end state. And what it will do is it will give you half of those, uh, it will give you half of your principal back, but it kills that stake. Meaning even when the time lock is over and for the rest of the time of the time lock, you can no longer earn off that stake. So this is truly something only be to use only to be used in cases of emergency if you really need that capital but there's a penalty associated with it because we need to reward people who do remain in their stake for the agreed upon time that they that they said they would to earn their bonus now 100 percent of this penalty for emergency end staking goes to existing stakers that have stayed for their full time lock. So it's not like other protocols where, you know, the develop if someone emerges the end stakes, the developer gets like 60% of their tokens now, and the developer gets, you know, 60% of all the tokens ever created, owns 90% of the liquidity, owns 85% of the supply. Like when you have protocols where, um, the developer is essentially minting tokens at will and um and and uh is getting some huge share of the tokens inevitably it becomes extremely centralized and one entity ends up owning basically the whole supply in this protocol it's the opposite there's uh if someone emergency end stakes that additional capital that they would have gotten stays in the contract, allowing all the people that don't emerge the end stake that stay in for their agreed upon lock time. Now they get that because um, since it's not going to the person that emerged the end stake, that means the value of seats is that much higher. And that's a benefit to everyone else that's existing in the system. Um, so, you know, this is another innovation, right? We're, we're the only protocol to allow for something like this. And that's because we're, uh, the way that we're implementing the bonus and not just doing it through inflation at the end, like the other protocols do. Forex, I got a big question. Big question. The whole community wants to know this question yeah. too, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start the piggy bank. It's going to be massive, massive liquidity going into uh, pigs, and um, it's going to be super bullish. Everybody's going to have a great time. It's, it's, it's going to be the biggest thing ever, and we kill all the competition out there. But what about the pig pen? When, um, wh okay, what kind of, let's say, roadmap do we have for the pig pen as far as proposals, as far as, you know, okay. um, the kind of that, 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 that structure of things in the pig pen, like what, what kind of time frame, and what are we look, what are we going to look forward to for the pig pen? Cool. All right. Well, people, let me just look at the front end real quick so I can just update myself with the values. Okay. The pig pen has already paid out over 4 million BUSD in rewards, right? The pig pen is paying out. And what allows the pig pen to pay out are people using the platform and the success of the dog and pig tokens. So as we implement the piggy bank, it increases the value of dog and pigs, further incentivizing more users to come on to the, uh, the animal farm, which increases the, uh, the amount of BUSD being generated in the pig pen and makes it so there's more BUSD to be paid out in the pig pen. It also creates another option for people to stake and earn on their pigs. And what this does, it's going to, um, uh, it's going to diversify the, um, the, um, I don't want to call centralization, but, um, the, uh, the, you know, the accumulation of pig tokens in the pig pen. If there's another option, that means 
a fair amount of those people that are in the pig pen now will end up migrating over to the piggy bank, which means those who are in the pig pen will see that much higher of a reward because they now own a greater share of the pig pen. So it, the piggy bank increases the health of the whole system and gives another option for pig stakers, which will uh, reduce the amount of pigs that are in the pig pen, allowing for the pigs that are, are in the pig pen to uh, see a greater share of the bonus. Now, on top of that, we have an adjusted tax rate in the dog's token. And the dog's token can have up to a 6% tax on buying and up to a 9% tax on selling. Currently, we don't have any tax associated with buying and only on selling and other uh, some other transactions. Once these tokens um, start to uh, really, you know, snowball and we're moving, you know, full steam ahead, we can adjust the tax rate of the uh, dog token to allow for more BUSD to be generated from the transactions of the dog token and the BUSD that's being generated from the transactions of the dog token get sent to the pig pen. So we can create a, uh, a another cash flow of BUSD going to the pig pen that isn't being generated now. And we can increase the other cash flows that are being generated that will be going to the pig pen, right? And another cash flow that we haven't started implementing yet is the um, the rehypothecation, right? So we're earning millions of dollars right now through the collateral rehypothecation that we're earning 30 to 40% yield on through PancakeSwap on the back end. This is generating a large amount of cake, which we have not tapped into any of it yet, right? So the reason why we haven't tapped into any of it yet is because we Bullish. haven't fully applied all of the BUSD from the L1 to L2 migration. That's great. Right? We still have uh, a significant amount of capital from that. A significant amount. But um, since we're going to have a large liquidity pool, for both dog and pigs, huh. Uh, we're not only going to use the uh, the cash flow being generated through the right rehypothecation for buybacks. We're also going to use it for pig pen injections. So that's another cash flow of millions of dollars that we've already generated and many millions to be generated in the future that will be used for pig pen injections. So pig pen there injections. are multiple mechanics that we have that are being utilized and some are not being utilized and some are not being utilized to their full potential to generate BUSD uh, dividends to go into the vault. Um, oh. But the project is only he does something ramble. like, he uh, does I don't know, uh, a month old or something. And it's already paid out over a million dollars in BUSD rewards. And these rewards that it's paying out are increasing on a daily basis. Uh, so, the pig pen is working as designed. Mm -hmm. um, sure, it's it is. not meant to be a it's not, it's um, not sexy guys. You know, a kind of pump and dump scheme type of deal. I it's am, meant to be time weighted rewards where um, taking half of this out. The amount of BUC the that you're generating from being in the pig pen is increased on a daily basis. So like and, and we have the cash flows to do that. Um, Instead of my. Easy. Motiv my motivations were not to um, dump all this capital in uh, at launch so the weak hands and the people that were only in it for, you know, the, the hype at the start to then make all kinds of crazy cash and leave the system, right? We're going to consistently and, responsi and responsibly add that capital to both the pig pen and to the dog and pig liquidity pool in the form of buybacks. And we have multiple cash flows and millions of dollars to do that. Uh, and this isn't like um, limited funds, right? We're generating millions of dollars constantly. And it's just about putting that capital to work, which we've been doing a little at a time, and we're going to continue to do.
And, um, you know, we're only going to increase it as time goes on because the longer uh, time goes, the more uh, we can, the more people that are just in it for the hype will uh, will have left the system. And the people that are in the pig pen are, gonna, are the people that are in it because they understand the protocol and they're in it for the long run. Now, I would say if you uh, want a shorter term uh, time frame investment, then definitely diversify, right? Maybe go 50-50, 50 in the pig pen, 50 in the piggy bank. Maybe do 75% in the piggy bank, 25% in the pig pen. It's all um, about how you want to allocate your funds and, um, you know, what kind of time time perspective you have on it. But we have multiple, um, multiple different uh, cash flows and mechanisms to increase the, uh, the the pig pen. And the pig pen is working very well. I mean, as you can see, it's paid out over $4 million uh, already. And we're only like a month old. So um, that's basically the answer to that. We have, uh, I, I should also say that unrelated to the pig pen, because this just popped up in my mind because I was thinking about other cash flows and how they can be utilized. Um, the... The piggy bank, right, has a has a fee associated with deposits and withdrawing, right? This fee is um, equal to the um, the max referral bonus that you can get, and this ensures that it's not beneficial to self-refer right because you'll end up paying more in fees than you do uh than you get from the referral bonus so it's not it it, it disincentivizes self-referring and 100 percent of the pigs that is being generated from this fee will be used in a protocol to reward the participants of the system what I mean by that is that that fee on deposits and withdrawals, those pigs that are being collected from that fee, zero percent of them are going into the devs' pockets, right? We're not collecting any dev fees of the tokens, right? What we're going to do is utilize those pigs in a reward structure, and what we're what, what we're looking at doing right now is a lottery. So a lottery where you can buy tickets for the lottery, both with drip tokens and dog tokens. These drip tokens and dog tokens that people use to buy the ticket are sent to a burn address, so they're removed from circulation, giving new utility, new game theory, um, you know, a, 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 a new, uh, you know, game for people to play uh, with their, their dogs and with their pigs. And every ticket that you buy gives you a chance to win the um, the pigs that have accumulated from the deposit and withdrawal fees associated with the piggy bank. So it, it it's a lottery that pays out pigs, but these pigs are not coming from inflation. So that's awesome, right? We're not diluting the supply to play out these, uh, these pig tokens. And we're further incentivizing people to remove drip tokens and remove dog tokens from circulation uh, uh, to earn to, to earn uh, these pigs, so and and of course people uh, are always happy when they see that funds are not going to developers, right? And and I am too because I never like to take any kind of dev fee in the tokens because I don't spending them anyway. Forex is not rug pulling. One of my own native tokens that I never will. So there's no point in me ever taking a dev fee in the tokens, anyways. That's why we so, love forex. Um, like yeah, the video so if you love plan forex. Is to set up a lottery structure. Now we have a uh, partnership that we're in the works uh, with uh, Chainlink for Drip, and um, this is going to start off with using their price feeds on our site. Ooh, and this, bullish. Yeah, this is to uh, to open the door and to start uh, establish a working relationship with them. So we would just want to like uh, get some low hanging fruit, right? It's easy for us to utilize their price feeds. And um, for doing that, um, we're going to do a co-promotion. 
So they're going to be uh, promoting us both on their social media and on their uh, their uh, Chainlink website, saying like we have a new partnership with with Drip, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's massively bullish for Drip, but we need to be able to do randomness for our lottery and um, the best project to partner with to do randomness nice. on on chain is Chainlink. So that is. Um, that's what we're gonna do with Chainlink, right? We're gonna parlay this it's a, partnership. You, I think I think right, it'll be Chainlink. bullish, Forex. I think it'll be bullish for everybody to know that you can only achieve true randomness in a lotto when you have um, this sort of a, 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 a of a, what you call it again, uh, Forex. Chainlink is a. a Oracle. Oracle. You can only yeah. achieve true randomness with this type of a partnership in Oracle. If somebody has a lottery system out there and doesn't have a proper Oracle set up in place, it could be exploited, right or wrong, Forex. I learned that from you. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of lotteries out there that are doing fully on-chain uh, lottery protocols that aren't utilizing some kind of Oracle. And uh, almost every time you'll notice that their contracts aren't verified the reason why their contracts aren't verified is because if they had their contracts verified, it would make it easier for people that want to reverse engineer their system to determine what takes into account to determine who's the winner. And then those developers can set up um, a type of sandbox where they can recreate the, uh, the current state of the blockchain and try to determine what they need to do to be the winner every day and essentially create a bot that will um, that will check to see if I do this, this, and this, will I be the winner? If so, buy the ticket. If not, don't buy the ticket. I think and, I think uh, Forex should create know, something like this. Essentially, rig a lottery um, if they're fully on chain and if they're not utilizing an oracle. And uh, there's a lot of lotteries out there utilizing these kind of systems, and I'd have to imagine a lot of them are being exploited. But we're gonna go the uh, we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna go, you know full-on uh, chain lit partnership because I believe they're the best people to partnership for randomness. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a legit, you know, true randomness in our lottery so everybody can rest assured that uh, when you buy your ticket, you're getting a fair shot at it, same as everybody else in the system. Forex, do we have a name for the lottery yet? Are we going to like have a like a, maybe a top five names to choose from or a, a proposal, maybe a top five proposal or something like yeah. that to pick the name? Well, uh, people that have been in the chat know that the piggy bank, that that wasn't, uh, I didn't come up with that name. Someone from the community came up with that wow, name. Wow, so I creative, asked to, piggy bank. Uh, to essentially propose names and, and you know, give their, uh, their suggestions. Someone suggested the piggy bank, and I think it's a, a perfect uh, name for it. So for sure, yeah. And uh, speaking of proposals, right, we have our governance proposal with the pig pen. And people, um, you know, can rest assured that we will be utilizing that uh, very soon. So our roadmap is launching the piggy bank then putting our full focus in marketing the animal farm, right? Do it, uh, both paid marketing and interviews and AMAs and essentially any kind of uh, targeted marketing we can have access to and setting up um, the next major partnership for drip. Right. And this is as soon as the, I'm talking the day after we lost piggy bank, we're going right into that. Then, um, once we we already know what we're going to be doing next for our drip partnership, but uh, what's next after that? After the drip partnership is the um, the partnership vaults for the animal farm, and um, how will we? Because we have dozens of projects that have filled up the form for partnerships, meaning they're willing to give a percentage of their total supply to have a vault on the animal farm to allow people to stake their token with dogs or with pigs to earn their native token. So they're going to give a share of their native supply to be used as rewards in our vaults. Um, dozens of projects have already applied for this. And we're going to allow the governance holders in the pig pen to vote on 
which projects we move forward with the partnership. So we're going to have a you know preliminary screening to ensure that we audit all the code, we make sure they're all legit, you know, they have good uh, logic and good game theory behind them. They make sense. There'll be demand for them. And and then once we have a good, very strong candidate, we're going to put it up to vote in the uh, pig pen and allow those that um, have their share ownership of the platform determine who we move forward with. And, you know, that's going to be a, a great opportunity to utilize the governance protocol and allow for the true owners of the protocol, which are those who have their pig staked in the pig pen to determine the future of the platform. Forks, I got, I got some, hold on, hold on. I got some. Okay. Wait, <clears throat> is there going to be a limit on how many stakes one wallet can do? Like, how is that going to be set up? No. And then also, um, is there going to be a tax on stick airdrops from the piggy bank? No. Think so. uh, there's there's no tax on uh, sending airdrops, and there's um, there's no limit to the amount of stakes that you can create. So no to both of those. Mm -hmm. All right, and then this is more rapid fire. Uh, do we need dogs in single stake pool for the referral reward, or does the uh, farming BUSD dog LP count as well? No, it's specifically uh, the dog single asset staking pool. So uh, you need to be in there, and that's because we need to be able to check specifically the amount of dogs you have. And if you're holding LP tokens, the amount of dogs that are associated with your LP tokens is going to vary depending on the price of dogs. So that's not a efficient way to implement that. Uh, have it, having it associated with the single asset staking pool of dogs allows us to check how many dogs specifically are in the single asset staking pool and determine your bonus based on that. Cool. And my last question is just a reconfirmation. So this guy said, can we just reconfirm? When will we be able to add our first stake and when will a mission start, i.e., can we start staking tomorrow and a mission start after the 48-hour counter? Like, just a little bit of clarity on when everything is going down. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we're going to launch the website. We're going to launch the contracts. We're going to make it available to you to start uh, creating your referral bonuses and be able to start, uh, you know, reviewing and interacting with the front end. Um, but the contract will be paused. We're going to unpause them uh, uh, when the 48-hour countdown So uh, ends. So we're going to start the 48-hour countdown tomorrow at 11 EST, uh, 11 a.m. EST. And when that 48-hour countdown hits zero, the contracts will be unpaused and everybody can start depositing. But this is um, the, uh, the contracts... And uh, the website and everything is launching tomorrow. It's just um, going to be paused. So everybody has 48 hours to um, essentially promote the website, promote the referral links. Um, so I think he's doing this to not have a spike of pigs and then a crash. So to those that are like, oh, I thought I wanted to do it. I think he's doing this as a way of protecting because during that 48 hours, you're gonna have people buying and selling. You're not gonna have a definitive moment when the contract launches. That's how I was planning on playing it. So this changes, this changes things. The website and the contracts and everything goes up like minutes before we launch, right? We want people to be able to get familiar with them, promote them, share their referral link. Um, so, so I think you have a sell sell on pigs because of this. It will be paused. 48 hours. Because they were buying going into the momentum tomorrow and they just learned there's no longer momentum going into tomorrow. So this could be a good dip to buy into. That's when you can start earning, right? Immediately. He's just repeating himself. So this right here, if this line of support holds, it might be a good entry. Going into Thursday now, that might be when the pump comes. All right. Everybody, like, so the the bonus that you make for um, for time locking 
is going to be made available to you before you time lock. So this is very, uh, this is a very good tool for people because it allows you to see what kind of bonus you're going to get before you time lock it. This way you can determine if the bonus is su sufficient for you before you time lock it. So there are um, essentially no protocols that allow you to check what your bonus will be compounded with interest earned on it by the time your, your end stake is over. And the reason for that is because we're the only protocol that actually allows you to compound your bonus and compound your interest. So this is, uh, you know, a, a major, major innovation. And I know that it's going to be huge, like, you know, because it fills, we know that when we launched drip garden drip did over two X and had about $30 million added to the liquidity pool, essentially overnight. I expect this to do way more than that, right? I don't want to make price uh, predictions or anything, but when we launched Drip Garden, we had about, I would say, 8,000 active users in the Drip Telegram group. We now have something like 110, 120,000 Telegram users across all our groups combined. And we have you know, tens of thousands, like maybe 60,000, 70,000, see more than that, probably about 80,000 active users right now in our protocols. So we are, I don't even know, 40 times bigger or something than we were when we launched the Drip Garden. So, you know, I expect this to, you know, make the, the pump and the movement that we saw in the Drip Garden look like, you know, child's play essentially, because this is, not only a more innovative protocol, but we just have that much larger community where um, our ecosystem is that much better, that much built up. Uh, we have that much more promoters on board. And um, this is another major innovative option that's part of a larger, uh, very powerful ecosystem. So I'm... I'm extremely bullish and extremely excited, and I really just can't wait to uh, to implement this and make it available. So I um, I have a meeting coming up in 18 minutes, but uh, if you got a couple more questions, I can you know quickly get to, through a, a couple of them. We, got we could do the chat, bro. I'm, I'm out of questions. We could. You want to get somebody from the from the animal farm chat? Yeah, sure. If you see questions in there, let me see. Let me, let me do, uh, see, these are just quick ones. Okay, can you ask if refer, for referral bonus is just on the principal alone or on principal and so compounds from your referral? It's from the initial deposits, right? Well, when so someone makes, bonus? yeah, when someone makes a deposit, it generates a referral bonus that gets added to your principal, right? If you referred them. And now, since it's added to your principal, now you can start earning interest on it and compound that interest. So, yeah, it increases your principal, allowing you to earn compound interest on it. But the bonus itself is generated from the deposit. And somebody and you asked if there's if there's a function to um, compound your to combine stakes. We can't do that, right? Combining stakes. No, for the same reason you can't deposit into an existing time lock stake. Uh, if you did that, then you would have to reset the uh, the time lock, and we don't want to have to be re. Uh, force resetting people's time locks every time they do anything. So it, it really doesn't make any sense to combine a stake right, because yeah. uh, if you have two separate stakes, both earning up to 3% interest that you can compound, right? They're going to earn at the same rate as they would if you combined them. There's really there's no, no benefit to combining. Mm -hmm. uh, what, we got? what else we got here? Let's see. Um, uh, somebody's asking about verifying contracts. Uh, do I don't know. About? Come uh, on, Barter Town. Ask, for us what ask a question. Oh, I mean, they just want to know functionality here. Ask for us what affects price of truffles. Is it pigs? And also, um, is it only the price of piglets that go down? 
So effectively, like plants, plants price, which uh, shouldn't yeah. be worried about. All right. So the way it works is the price of um, truffles is relative to the contract balance. So as the contract balance grows, the price of truffles guys, grows. this price, Meaning, look at the sixty-one thousand. Uh, this uh, is based on this AMA. Do you know why? The, Write in the comments the why go, pigs is so falling. I want to see how smart you guys are. The, Tell the, me the, why Why would pigs fall truffles. right now? Go. Um, plant, uh, uh, truffle, Thank uh, you, Ron. 99 cents. That's how much I made on this video. Look at chat right, revenue. I made 99 right, cents minus what YouTube it, takes. Uh, Thank you, bro. Uh, piglets, like plants, are not sellable assets. So I'll be back. It, so the price of piglets has uh, no determination on what you'd be able to cash out of the system. It only determines the uh, uh, how much you'll be able to increase your share ownership of the platform when you either invest new capital or compound. And the, uh, the price of these is always decreasing by a little bit because it, it's always ensuring that it's attractive for people to compound their existing stakes to grow their share uh, ownership of the, uh, the the contract or to invest new capital. So really, if you're if you have existing stakes, what you should be paying attention to is the contract balance, because the contract balance is going to determine your um, and the, your contract balance, which is essentially the price of truffles. The price of truffles determines uh, how much capital you'll be able to get if you cash out. The price of uh, piglets, just like the price of plants, has no way in your ability to cash out, right? That's just, um, this is why we don't even provide a price for plants and we'll provide a price for piglets on the dashboard because it's, it's, it's largely irrelevant. If you're compounding, and if you're depositing into the system, uh, you can ensure that you're always getting a, a great rate for it. But um, there's no uh, situation where the price of plants or the price of piglets decreases. So now you can only, you know, take less profit from the system or something like that. It doesn't work like that. The piglets just act as a um, asset which represents your share ownership of the system. So if you are not compounding, or doing the de deposits in the system, you'll be slowly losing your share ownership of the platform or of the contract. And this is why it's up to 3%. So if you are regularly compounding at a rate that's equal or greater than the average user in the system, then you maintain your share ownership or your share stake of the contract and remain at about 3% daily ROI. If you stop compounding and you only start leaching from the system, now your share ownership of the contract starts to decrease a little bit every day and you start your daily ROI starts to go from 3% to, you know, 2.9%, 2.8% over time, right? So this is just um it, this is how the game's theory is structured to ensure that those that are compounding and are being active in the system are rewarded. So for doing that, and people that are just uh, leeching from the system cannot infinitely leech from the system and are being rewarded uh, for doing so. Um, when it comes to you just trying to figure out how much you could cash out at any given time, that is just um, the price of truffles and uh, the, the contract balance. And we make the price of truffles very clear on the dashboard. So you'll be able to see uh, this is the price of truffles. This is how many truffles you yes, have Yes, you guys are smart. And, and how much truffles you're making on a daily basis, essentially. All that's in the dashboard. Forex, could we nail the compounding feature in the butt and explain to people why it's, it's nail it in the butt. better not to have auto compounding features in, in a lot of the stuff that we got going on? Yeah, so the only time auto compounding makes sense, in my opinion, is if you are earning some non-native token, for example, in um, Animal Farm, 
through the back end, we're earning cake. Now, if this wasn't done through the back end, if it was done through like a auto or a beefy type of system, let's say, where you're earning a, a tiny bit of some other me, some other token, for example, you're you're staying ETH link and you earn a little bit of link uh, from your stake, it makes sense to auto-compound that because what it does is sells half those link that you're earning for ETH, adds it to the liquidity pool, and then compounds that into your stake. And, uh, you know, this makes sense because you have some asset that you're not able to earn on unless you do all these other transactions to add it to your stake. In this case, right, when you compound your time lock, your principal's time lock, and there's also, of course, a gas price associated with it as well. So everybody needs to determine their own strategy for compounding, how often you want to compound uh, based on your confidence in the system and the price of gas and... Um, you know, how much of that principle you want to continue to uh, to lock up, essentially, because the principles... Uh, Does anyone want to be a YouTuber? Good. Check this out. So, you make um, 99 cents you know, it's every hour for easy. live streaming. It's the best for job in the world. <laughs> understand the system to do an auto-compounding feature and have them stake with an auto-compounding and then come around in a month and realize they have no available divs and be complaining and why don't I have any available divs? And, you know, you know, we would tell, oh, because you were auto compounding. Well, you know, I didn't want to auto compound or it's just, it's not a good option to have by default in these kinds of protocols. Now people have created bots to auto compound. And I know there's a GitHub that allows people to auto compound their stake in drip, for example. So there are options to be able to do this if you want to. But it's just um, these kinds of protocols. Um, and, and then also, right, so if you have a system where you're earning some other non-native token, you could just constantly compound it into your stake, and that, and that makes sense. But with these kinds of um, and you can do that constantly, right? Every time someone does a claim or a compound, or whatever, you can constantly trigger. With this kind of system, you would need to determine, all right, say they want to auto-compound. How often do they want to compound? Do they want to compound once a day, auto-compound once a week? Now, if they do want to auto-compound, what's going to trigger it, right? Because something needs to trigger an action, right? Systems... These are decentralized contracts. So it takes someone to call a function in order for something to be to happen. So we could have it so every time someone does a deposit or a withdrawal or a, a claim, it then looks at everybody who's available to compound and compounds them. This is going to be looping through every staker in the system. Um, and if we get too many people that are in the system, right? This can break it because if the loop gets too big, it will start to time out, you know, um, the, the gas price uh, or the gas limit will be too high. It will start to time out. It's just really, uh, it just really does not make sense from like uh, both a technical perspective, like the way these contracts work. And it also doesn't make sense from a game theory perspective. Because everybody needs to decide the, their own rate at which they want to compound um, based on how much they have staked, what the gas prices are, uh, what their profit-taking versus compounding strategy is. Uh, and it's much better if everybody's acting as individuals in the system. And that's how you get a more, um, a more representative market of uh, what the uh, sentiment of the, of the market is, right? That's how you have a more organic uh, price movement and price action and onboarding. Um, so there's there's a bunch of reasons not to do it in this system, but um, some of them are just for the reasons I just said, but there's also technical reasons why you wouldn't want to do it. And, you know, to the point where it could literally break the system if you have too many stakers involved. So it's it really just doesn't make sense to do it all in these kind of protocols. 
I think we're all good, Forex. We we got all the questions out pretty much. All right, guys. So tomorrow, I'll be in here, right? At 11 a.m., we're going to get the, the front end up, and we're going to deploy the contracts. That way, everybody can start connecting their wallets and creating referral links. All of the YouTubers and all of the people out there promoting their groups and all that can start promoting, can start sharing their links. That way, uh, when it unpauses at, um, at the end of the countdown, the 48-hour countdown, People can immediately start depositing and uh, and start earning their referral bonuses. Um, we're going to make a uh, more detailed white paper. This will be coming out uh, within the next 48 hours. And, you know, it's when people see the uh, front end tomorrow, I know they're going to be impressed. Yay. I know they're going to be very excited about those bonuses, right? Because they're very large bonuses. The reason why they're very large bonuses is because uh, you're earning compound interest on them. So it's it's extremely powerful, way more powerful than any other existing time lock system. We're the only ones not to do it through inflation. Um, you know, I expect it to have a price effect both on pigs, similar to what the Drip Garden uh, did for Drip, which was more than two exit basically overnight. And I expect it to have an effect on dogs similar to the uh, effect that the drip referral system had on b which was massive, right? Took the price from $2 to, you know, $250, um, you know, with just constant growth every day. And I'm just very, very excited for this. As soon as we launch it, we go into the, the next phase, which is a full focus on marketing it and um you know onboarding and i just want to say thank you everybody for being here um i can't wait to present everything to you guys tomorrow right launch the contracts launch the front end and start this countdown because i know when this countdown uh hits zero we're gonna have a, a wave of millions of dollars coming in and this is capital that would otherwise be you know selling pigs or uh you know, just doing regular, uh, you know, scalp trading and all kinds of negative actions instead will be staking their pigs and adding liquidity to their pigs to earn a sustainable but a high yield ROI, right? Up to 3% ROI a day. Hey man, oh my plus gosh. a bonus that you can earn compound interest in, which is huge. And people that have been paying attention realize that the drip garden, which is like five months old now, blueberries hit for a Vinland. higher contract balance every single month, month huh. after month, and um, blueberries for I Rhonda. I believe that we can even thank you, Rhonda, that and Champ with thank the you. piggy bank. Now, do I think that um, the piggy bank? Um, you guys want to just summarize it away from the drip garden because I know you got to get going. You cannot stake drip or drip lp in the piggy bank so okay. there is still this utility in the drip garden for people who want to stake their 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 drip lp it's the only place you can earn up to three percent daily roi on your drip lp it also has completely different mechanics right like the contract multiplier the time multiplier as opposed to time staking multiplier and um the drip garden allows you to earn Drip LP tokens. Drip LP tokens allow you to earn pigs, and pigs can be added to BUSD liquidity and stake in the piggy bank. So they create a positive feedback loop for each other that support each other and, and strengthen each other. So I believe they're both um, unique investment opportunities with their own risks and their own rewards, servicing different assets but they both heavily support each other. So uh, I think that this is going to raise all ships. Um, and I'm just very excited. It's going to raise all ships, he I says. Meeting. I got to go. I have my meeting at, at 6 p.m. Okay, get out of here, Forex. Um, I want to make sure that we have everything ready to go uh, early tomorrow. So just stay tuned, guys. We're going to start the countdown tomorrow at 11 a.m. EST. <laughs> as soon as it hits zero. Starting the countdown. Um, 
we're opening up the contract. So okay, here we go. For, for Bye, Forex. So, Love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Barter Town. Thanks to everybody for asking questions. And, you know, you guys know I've been asking for the chat, so I'm going to continue with that, answering questions. And, you know, there's a lot of admins in here that uh, I'm sure learn yep. a bit more than they didn't already know. All right, he's just rambling. For you in the chat as well. So thanks for being here, everybody. Thank you, Barter Town. And uh, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Felice. Peace, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you so much for all those super chats for the love. You guys, you know, that's the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much. Um, as you guys know, whoa, Camco, thank you. 2222. It's amazing numbers. Jonathan, stay trustworthy, genuine, spreading the love and sharing intel on the Forex ecosystem. I will always be a faithful little piggy. Love you, bro. Well, that's super kind. Thank you, man. Thank you. Whoever Camco is, whoever Vin Man is for all you guys, thank you so much. Rhonda there and you crypto. Anyways, but a couple takeaways before you guys close off this video. The price of pigs is going down right now. Why? You guys already know this. You're smarter than me. The price of pigs is going down because we all were buying pigs and trying to get in early. And then guess what? We just found out that the price of pigs or we just found out that the launch of the piggy bank, it ain't doing squat. It's not coming. So... I don't like that Forex, he communicates like, oh yeah, guys, didn't you know that like the launch, it isn't really till Thursday. We're just opening up the website to like, come on, just, just admit that there's delays or you wanted to add a couple features and therefore it delays it a couple days. But it makes people go, and especially in this space where everybody's like, oh no, rug pulls or whatever. So communication is key, but whatever. I mean, I don't mean to tell Forex anything. The guy's making millionaires every day. And I'm super grateful for him. So I'm going to watch the price of pigs. It's hanging out at 370, which is kind of a support line. Um, if it makes a curl up, I might go in and buy my pigs right now in anticipation that in the next two days, we're going to have another little momentum. So if you felt like, oh, I missed that rush going into uh, the momentum of the launch of piggy bank, uh -uh, you didn't miss it. You can buy on this pullback. Uh, dogs, because of the new information on dogs, is actually skyrocketing um, because you're learning about more utility for dogs based on that AMA. So dogs is sitting at um, $64 right now, and uh, that's like the highest it's been in weeks. So kudos to those who bought dogs. I put a price alert to buy dogs back here to my team. Um, I think it was 50, yeah, it was $53 because I finally saw support, put an alert there. So from 53 to 64, um, congrats to everybody that took that trade. Um, those trades, all things like that, I'll be probably posting in the private discord, which by the way, has sold out twice now. I opened up more seats. You can see right now, let me refresh, see how we're doing on seats. Uh, we've got yeah, now there's only 22 of 100 remaining. So you can get in. At, I'm telling you, the price will go up. This will sell out. And it's our private Discord group um, launching tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of disappointing to hear Forex do a little delay tactic thing again. Uh, you know, so tomorrow, I guess we'll get to see the website. We'll cruise around. I'll make a video on it. Um, I want to uh, listen to you guys. Um, you know, someone, uh, thank you, Vin Man. Jonathan, I do have admin on Telegram. There's a spam I can't take off uh, and drip. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. We do have a Telegram group, guys. If you want to join, that's totally free. There's 2,700 people on there. Um, but do you guys have any questions before we wrap up? Um, so we learned that. You cannot make a deposit tomorrow. So if you're going to get up early to do that, to get in and stake, we learned that there is benefit to getting in early. Um, so if you want to uh, get in early, then you'll have to wait till Thursday anyways. So I posted my strategy video in our private Discord for our Discord members. Someone says, how much to join the Discord? Well, right now it's $43 per month. But depending on when you get in is how much the price is. I raise the price 10% every time we sell out of 25 spots. Um, let's do this. 
Oh yeah, I jumped in on that tip at 53 and loaded up. Vinman, that's awesome, man. And now Vinman is the Vinman constantly donates and it's just super encouraging. So thank you. You don't have to donate, man. You don't have to do anything. Just enjoy the content. Um so Boom. Uh, I sorry guys had to ban. I have to ban someone from our Telegram group because they posted a link, and you're not supposed to do that. It's like common etiquette. Uh, so 159 people watching this. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Um, what else can I tell you guys? So what I did earlier today was I took some of my drip and I actually sold my drip and I put it in BNB. And you say you little cheater. No, I'm not. I hadn't won, got my initial deposit back, so I still haven't done that. Um, so I wanted to do that, and then I wanted to put it into BNB right now because of uh, the pump. Okay, everything's pumping, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. So I put it in BNB to enjoy some price appreciation. Why would I do that? Because I don't think there will be price appreciation in Drip anytime soon. Look at the price of Drip. Okay, has that found a floor yet? No, it hasn't found a floor. So. Now, obviously, I have kept all my money in the faucet except for what I could claim. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, all 24 hours of this, whatever this is in 24 hours from now, I'm donating to uh, Dripping for Wells because on March 1st, that's what our whole team has decided to do. Anyone who took the pledge is going to click donate now or they're going to send their drip to that wallet. You guys can join us. I'd love to have you. It would be awesome. Uh, right now, though, is... Uh, an opportunity if you're new, uh, I would probably uh, start dollar cost averaging, purchasing some drip, getting it in the faucet, because right now with your BNB, you can buy a lot more drip than you could yesterday, than you could the day before. So you're winning far more than I am uh, by accumulating your drip. Now, for those that are going, ah, how come the price of drip sucks? Like, well, it's because all the attention's on the animal farm. If you look at the TVL and animal farm, you got 338 million bucks. All this money, guys, could have went into drip. But it didn't. Why? Because Forex decided to create another platform, a platform that one does support drip. Here we go. And there's other mechanisms he's doing. He talked about the lottery system, how in order to get into a lottery, you can only pay for dogs or drip token. Well, beautiful. That means those tokens that are used for the lottery, all that millions of dollars, it's going to be burnt, which again, the more you burn, if I, if I have 100 mice, all right, and I burn 25 of them. Now there's only 75 mice left, right? Is those 75 mice worth more to you or less? It's worth more. It's worth more because there's only 75 of them. So that's what's happening. Anytime you add a burning utility to dogs or drip, that is bullish. Tonight we learned some alpha, which again is why I believe the price of dogs shot up and is shooting up, okay? So congrats to you guys. You just got a 7% raise if you were in that just in a 24-hour period. If you were in drip, you lost 2.5% of your money. But if you did what I did, which was sold, made a video on it. I made four videos today for you freaks, okay? And I sold it and because I wanted to ride this bull. And look it. Instead of losing 2%, I gained, well, the 2% I would have lost plus 9%, 9, 10, 11, 11% on that money. And so now I'm sitting in BNB, but obviously, guys, I'm still got 674 in the faucet right there. Um, BNB is sitting at 395. So that's awesome. It's awesome, man, to see Bitcoin and Ethereum bouncing up, guys, because we need a crypto rally like it's going out of style. So don't be like, well, everything's rising, but drip. Well, douchebag, that's not the way this stuff works, okay? Everything moves in cycles. So right now you've got all these like tr just coins all in the green. Drip is not your average coin. Look at drip right here has immense sell pressure. People are claim, claim, claiming. You got these wallets that have been in for months. They're now the biggest they've ever been. All that is sell pressure, sell pressure. Eventually, if you watch my video, go watch my video on... Um, it says uh, like a whale is leaving. Let me find that video for you and it explains it right here. This whale is out. Go watch that, you'll be encouraged. And uh, 
Yeah. So, and then also you got Forex, like he's not talking about drip. There's no partnerships that are like big announcements or anything. He's alluded like chain link and pancake swap lending protocol, but none of that is in stone. Investors want to know when is the launch of that? What's the actual details of those partnerships? None of that's been announced. So there's no reason people are getting anxious to run into drip. Uh, people like to buy where momentum is and momentum right now is around pigs because of the launch of the piggy bank. So for the next couple of days, guys, I'll be watching the price and I'll be trying to accumulate more pigs. I mean, give me a sell off in pigs. Is anybody with me? If you're with me, write in the comments. Pizza, write pizza in the comments if you understand exactly what I'm talking about. You want the price of pigs right now to go to the floor. Give me pigs all the way down. I want in the 200s, man, because then I will load the boat. I don't care about the price of pigs right now. Why? Because I'm not in the piggy bank. If you're thinking about being in the piggy bank, why do you want the price of pigs to go up today? You don't want the price of pigs to go up today. You freaking tool bag. I love you. I've done like five videos today, so I'm just angry. Um, yes, Greg gets it. Thank you. One person out of 144, get it. All right. What are your comments, questions? Thank you for the super chats. I'm going to go crazy. I've got a volleyball game. Who plays volleyball? I don't know. I do. Such a manly sport. Um, by the way, prayers going out, thoughts going out to the people of the Ukraine. Respect to all of you guys fighting. Look at this, guys. You want to be motivated? Check out these women. These women, man, that are seriously standing there with a rifle, defending her country. Are you kidding me? We are seeing modern-day heroes in front of our eyes. The, the president of the Ukraine, is this a movie? No, this is real life, and there are real heroes. And all the people fighting in the Russian army look like a bunch of douchebag tool bags. This guy right here is literally modern day Hitler. This guy right here is modern day freaking hero. This guy, he's just sleepy, clueless Joe trying to figure it out. Bless his heart. But anyways, um, so you're awesome, bro. Out of 100 correction. Thank you for saying that, Sonny. Serious. That's his name, Serious. Sarcastic Gamer. Hell no, nah, that is a model. Okay, maybe it's a model. You're right. You have all the information. None of us do. Thank you for setting us straight. Uh, that was one picture. I f Go look at all the photos. Just Google it. You'll see. Uh, and you can see timestamp of the video and the articles written about it. It's freaking amazing. All these fem female fighters. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you heard of the 13 soldiers who stood their ground trying to defend. Yeah, they're alive. Uh, Gregory, uh, report is that they didn't die. They actually are alive. Um, so that's freaking awesome. Um, wow, we've got 138 viewers. The AMA is over. You guys should go home. I don't know why you're here, but I just want to give you the alpha of today's AMA. Um, I've got to go back and learn more about some truffles and piglets and all that stuff. I came in late because Tex was at the neighbor's house trying to hit on the female dog over there. So I had to deal with that. But we made like five videos today, guys. They are banger videos. You should literally just drive home and consume this content. Why am I claiming my drip? Boom. That video is money. The whale is out. Go watch that. Uh, yesterday, the great rotation. I talk about this. If you're wondering why is pigs uh, going up and drip sucks, look it up. Uh, but everything I heard today, again, is just super bullish. I mean, people eventually, we don't even have the Asian market. He said like 80% of the people in drip are from America. America is not the world, okay? So wait till people in Asia and all that get involved. You'll see, because they're gonna learn about the name Forex because he's trustable. He's in. He's been in the space for a while, and uh, I'm super excited. Now, typically during like bull runs and Bitcoin and Ethereum, you might have more money being sold off to go and enjoy the ride of those. So I wouldn't be surprised to see sell pressure on some of these yield staking protocols because the reason you're in yield staking is because your money in Bitcoin and Ethereum wasn't doing anything. Well, now Bitcoin and Ethereum are running a bit. How long will it last? Who knows? It's too volatile for me. I just buy my Bitcoin, buy my Ethereum and leave them alone. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can stake all those by way in the animal farm and increase our TVL, show your support that way. But you'll also be making money. Like, uh, I don't have my Ethereum staked. Um, let me go to uh, the farms here. What? Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can stake your Bitcoin, your Ethereum here. If 
if you want to know how much you'd get, you just click on this tab right here. Boom, shakalaka. B, if you want to stake BUSD, bam, you'll be making 19%, 0.19% per day. Uh, for 30 days, you'll make 6% on your money. So if you put 100 Gs in that sucker, you would get 106,000 after 30 days. And there's no loss of your principal. You can get that out. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then look at ETH. Let's look at, um, yeah, here's ETH, 0.19 as well. Bitcoin is 0.19. Yeah, so all of these are, obviously those are not as good as what's happening up here in the farm pools with BUSD. The best, absolute best one right here is Dogs WBNB. Look at that, 1.13%. This is even better than drip. Okay, right now. Now it fluctuates. Drip doesn't. You're always getting 1% of drip every day. So, um, yeah, it's cool to see drip um, still paying, even though, you know, I don't like to see that, 89 bucks. But it is what it is. I it, When you understand what's happening, then it's less panicky. So I'm not panicking about the price of drip. I just, I know there'll be new developments and these things are cyclical they run on momentum so we're in a we're in a bitcoin momentum right now all right uh what else wow that's wonderful btc hit 43k again yes haha -ha. we're still here go get blah blah secure great uh billions in tv yeah camco uh appreciate you reminding me of that he did say that he believes animal farm will have billions in tvl not just 350 mil okay this will be a billion dollars one day I mean, he puts his neck on the line when he says stuff like that. So will he be proven true? I mean, he, he he knows the marketing budget. He knows what other projects have done with marketing budgets. So I don't think he just bullcraps, throws numbers out. I think he's like, yeah, we just haven't done the marketing yet. Once we do the marketing, money will come. TVL will go up. Everybody's going to make money. Love this guy. Name 4X. Um. Clarify what stacking LP and piggy bank pays. Is it BUSD like pig pen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, tomorrow we'll know. We'll get to see the website. Always have faith in drip. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, I don't want to ramble on. I don't want to be the next 4X where we just ramble. But thank you guys for those with questions and the support and like you guys know if, if some of you asked the private discord group let's see did we did we did anybody join so we got 22 spots left refresh boom shakalaka yes one person joined so we got 21 spots left you can join and uh we're gonna have fun in the discord because the telegram group frankly is crazy when you've got a telegram group this size you get scammers in there. You get people going, um, how come the price of drip is down and Bitcoin is up today? Like, what's up with that? Obviously, it's a scam. Total Ponzi. And we just don't want to be around those people anymore. Uh, I'll still be in the Telegram group, but I just, I need to be around investor-minded people or I'm going to go insane. So Discord is that. We're going to long-term this, hopefully bring extra value. I made a private video for the Discord people today. So check that sucker out. Um, what else do you guys want to talk about? Tomorrow's the biggest day of my life because uh, we're donating, dripping for wells. So you see this money right here, 88 bucks, Pfft, nothing. We're going to raise way more than that. And I'm going to throw it at dripping for wells and provide kids like this clean drinking water. Why not? I mean, the world's falling apart. So Lambos are cool, but not when you got war and not when you got idiots like this still living. Um, we've got to do something about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. Would you, like two weeks ago, can you imagine looking at Vladimir Putin and labeling him that? I mean, I'm just saying the world is getting crazy, but uh, good thing we've got some Bitcoin going up. We got good news. All right, guys, thanks so much for all the little, you know, coffees you send. And, you know, some of you guys you click the support, you send a coffee. It's the craziest, cutest, wonderfulest thing. I got the best community. I feel like I've got friends and uh, it means the world. So thank you, guys. Uh, future partnership stability of his project will sustain the... Yeah, he's building an Apple, okay? He's building an ecosystem. Right now, the attention is all on iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. And if I'm in the Mac division, I'm like, is nobody talking about the Macs anymore? Do Macs not matter? No, the Mac still matters, buddy. But today is not the day for Macs. It's all about iPhones. I think that's what's happening. 
in a nutshell. So just relax, throw your money at the Forex, throw your risk capital at Forex. Like I put a poll out there, you know, basically throw it at anything and, and if you're going to be fine. I mean, I'm not saying that because I can't give financial advice, but I mean, come on. The guy is, where else are you throwing your money? Okay, brother, catch you in Discord. I'm out. So excited to put our investments toward a good cause. Yes, Greg. Thank you for your support, man. You're, you're a kind man. All right, guys, we're going to end it. Gonna go kick my dog. Just kidding, bro. I'm not gonna kick him. All right, gonna eat some blueberry truffles and uh, and then we're gonna go play volleyball and try to hit on some chicks. Just kidding, that was inappropriate. See you guys in the next one.